Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today we're going to have a look at the Diatone Roma F5. This is the 4S version, it comes in for on 6S and it obviously is a DJI quad. So let's just have a quick look at it. So as you can see, it comes with these covers over the stack, these plastic covers. Uh, these pull off and you can see the stack. So in here you have the Mamba F405 DJI control unit and the F50 Pro ESC uh, for 4 and 6S. Like I said, this is the 4S version. It comes with these really, really nice Toka motors. These are 2207 and this is the 2450KV version because this is for 4S. The 7S comes with, I think it's 1700KV. It does come with this mount. You obviously don't get the camera case, but you get the mount here. It comes with that in the box. And it's really nice attachment that you just tighten up with an Allen key. Much better than something sticking outside. I really do like that. And then in the back of this, we have the DJI Vista. It also comes with a version for the air unit. And you've got a single antenna out the back, which is a... I think it's a diatone, is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a own antenna out the back. Comes with two straps, I believe. I'll show you that in a minute and it comes with a set of props only one set of props believe it or not you don't get two sets of props in here you get one set of ethic props five inch props and that's all you get in the box build quality is really really nice so it does come with all these plastic bits let me pop that back and i'll show how it goes on this one just pops straight back on here the one the one at the other side i will warn you is not easy to get to because the wires are in the way here but you have to take that one off to get to your usb connection for beta flight also in the box you get quite a bit of stuff in the box for this one but one set of props so these set of props these are the black versions of the, of the side pieces so you get a set of black ones you also have to replace the underside skids which do come on the quad when you buy it it doesn't come with the side pieces on you have to put them on yourself and it obviously the camera mounts in the box but you get a new set of them you only get one camera mount in white you don't get one in black you do get a sorry that's a different strap you only get one strap with it like i said you get your typical array of bolts more bolts I apologise, you two get, do get two straps, so you get two diatone straps. And I think that's it. And a pair of cutters. No, you don't really get the pair of cutters. The pair of cutters must have been, I wonder where they were gone. And a spare ESC to control the board. So that's what you get in the box. So this isn't going to be a flight video or a full review because of the weather in the UK. If it's typical, it's either... Chucking it down with rain or blowing a gale. Today it's decided to blow a gale. And since we're about to go into lockdown, I thought I'd get the videos done. And get some flying tiring because there'll be some pl more places to fly when we go in lockdown that are much quieter than normal. So like I said, I've got the Osmo action on the front of me and that's what you'll see when I do the flight footage. But I've obviously got the DJI cam, um, the Vista camera. So the reason I bought the Vista and not the Air Unit version, there's about £40 in difference in price, but that wasn't the key factor. The key factor was this is has props in shot, and because I've got props in shot, I don't really bother buying the DJI Air Unit. So if you see a, a drone on here to review, a pat, the only one that breaks that rule is uh, the Flywoo Vampire, because that's the only version they had in. So I bought the one with the Air Unit. I will rip the air unit off that when Vistas come available and put a Vista inside it. I don't really see the point of having it other than that. Like I say, the build on this thing's really nice. If you look at the bottom of the frame, really, really chunky frame. Very, very nice. Well finished off. Strong, really strong. There's no flex at all in these arms. You can't flex them at all. You've got the crossfire antenna mount at the back. Should you care to go crossfire on this? This is the DJI Bind and Fly unit. So it obviously binds and flies straight to my controller, which is so much easier, but I don't get the same range of crossfire, but I do get better range than I would do if I was flying R9M or anything like that. I've had a quick test flight of this and it was brief and everything seemed absolutely spot on out of the box. No oscillations or anything like that. I took it for just a very, very brief flight. Um, 
there was wind about so I didn't bother videoing it or anything like that and it was very much just for me to have a test of it to make sure everything worked right out of the box when it's delivered because you never know when it comes from China it has a really nice mount everybody should start using these for the Vista for the DJI cameras I don't know how you can see that so it's got your two screws in there but it's got a degree measurement on there and this is one of the best things I've seen that grips the camera nicely it really does fit the camera well Either I end up getting these and they won't tighten up properly because they've used the wrong size screws in them and I end up having to replace all the screws. But I do like this idea of the angle on there. Apart from that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Quite a simple build, I'd imagine. Uh, there's nothing, you've got plenty of room in this stack with the stack that's in here to fit you, everything in. And obviously there's a load of room at the front should you wish to do something different with this. So you could use this frame for something that wasn't DJI. It comes in a various, variable, different ones. It gets you an A unit, you can get a 6 this. You can also buy analog version, which is one Andy RC reviewed. If you want to see some flight footage and how this thing should be flown, I said, history you watch Andy's video, because he's a far better pilot than I am. Uh, Andy flew the analog version, and it was amazing. He did have the 6S and I bought the 4S. Uh, and I've got a lot of 6S quads, that's the only reason I bought the 4S version and uh, got more for it back than success so this is the reason i went down this route but yeah i'm i'm very happy with it so far came in about i'd like to say 260 270 pound i think it was wasn't the cheapest thing in the world but it's decent we're out of battery this thing weighs 381 grams and that's obviously without the osmo action I've got the Osmo Action on the front of here because it's got this simple mount that fits the GoPro 8 as well. Uh, but I've started using the Osmo Action more um, on its versions. It's rock steady and uh, I've been getting good results out of it. The colour saturation is not as good, I think, on this camera as it is on the GoPro 8. But apart from that, I really do like it. Really nice thing. So, quick video today. I just wanted to get it out there so you could see this. I really do like it. Time will tell what it's like on the full flight. So this is what I intend to do. I've also got the Flywoo Vampire, which I showed you the other day. I intend to do this and the Vampire at the same time. And I'll just do a video showing the footage from them two. And I've got some more that I haven't got footage of. The HS Kit KRC Brave. I'll have a video flight of that. And I'll also put in with that flight a conversion that I've done. So I've converted... The Fury B Stormer, um, if you remember, I've converted the Fury B Stormer into a Mr. Croc. Well, I've changed that all. I've ripped the stack out of it, put a new stack in there, put a new um, VTX in. It's now on Crossfire, and I'll put the video footage of that rather than doing a video on it in there. Yeah, I've got the video for the iFlight Chimera, Chimera, whatever you want to call it, 4, which is a long-range version. I've got that coming up later in the week. I've also got an interesting video, I don't know which lot of these are going to go in, on the quality of the DJI transmitter. And if you own a DJI transmitter, you really do need to watch this video. I've then got the iFlight Camera 7 inch, which I'll have a video up for that next week. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get any flight footage from any of these quads, but I'll certainly have a, a first video up of it. And then I have also got another video. Someone has actually sent me a drone to review a toy grade. Believe it or not, they have sent me one to review. That video will be up later in the week. Uh, you don't want to miss that if you like videos. That, uh, well, you watch, you'll see what I mean when you watch it. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. If you're already a, a subscriber, please like and share. So, thank you ever so much once again. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.